Hey, welcome back to KSL Outdoors. All right, imagine this. You're out in Utah's backcountry. You get injured. You get lost. You need to survive. How are you going to do it? Tonight, we're going to introduce you to a couple from Colorado that teaches primitive survival techniques. This crazy couple was even on Discovery Channel, Naked and Afraid. Since I was a little kid, I always said that the other kids who played on the playground, I was always out checking out wildlife and trying to live like, you know, a little primitive person. He's an, obviously an avid outdoorsman, and I'm an avid outdoors woman, and I've spent my entire life in the outdoors. When I met Matt, it really just sort of took things to a different level. Meet hunters Matt and Brooke Wright. Both have competed on Discovery Channel's Naked and Afraid. In fact, Matt has faced the challenge five times. He's also the first person to ever take a big game animal on the show, and he took it with his homemade longbow. For me, it's you, you leave everything. You leave everything that you know, all your clothes, and everything you have at home, and you leave it all behind, and you try to take on a place that you've never been before. And for me, that is like the ultimate challenge. It's the ultimate kind of testing of the skills that I've learned through the years. You know, we jokingly say that I've been a naked and afraid widow um, all these years, and ultimately, it's uh, it was a way for me to connect with him a little bit more because I got to hear all these stories and the things that he experienced and I wanted to experience those things myself. Ultimately know that I can, you know, in any type of situation that he can rely on me just as much as I can rely on him. At this year's ISC, Matt and Brooke are giving seminars about their experience on Naked and Afraid and they are promoting their company Extreme Instinct where they take people out and teach them primitive hunting skills. I would say that some of the main skills we teach people is we'll teach you how to make, of course, primitive fire, sourcing water, making shelter, but then we're gonna teach you how to primitively hunt, how to primitively track, how to use the sun for navigation, and, and pretty much, you know, how to take nothing and make it into something. One of the skills they teach is how to make and throw an atlatl. So the atlatl itself, it comes from the Aztec word that is spear thrower. Um, the dart itself is a long skinny section here, has to have a lot of spring to it. The atlatl is actually a wood extension of the arm. So this is actually the first ever compound weapon created by man. Um, and what it does is it gives you leverage to throw this dart. Then all you do is you point this dart at the target. When you go to throw, you're just delivering a downward kind of hammer hit. Average hunting distance with this is probably gonna be within 15, 20 yards. Matt makes it look and sound easy, but is it? There it is. Bam, that's it. Pretty slow. That's not bad. When you go to throw it, you want the tip to be at the target the whole time so that when you go to throw it, just like this, what's happening is that tip is, everything's following the tip. And then it, just give it a good, good flick at the end. You're already throwing it better than most people. Oh, that, that's it, right? That's buffalo killer right there. <laughs> but I started hunting with it, and I was like, you know what, I, I love this thing because of how simple it is and yet incredibly effective once you practice. And when you see that, it doesn't look like it's traveling that fast. Yeah. But that actually right there would stick about eight inches into a deer. It's simple and, and kind of steps back, you know, 20,000 years. Addle Addle was fun. It was. It That's was a good blast, time. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too bad. And hey, you guys are still have some uh, seminars going on at yeah, the show. Yeah, we, we have a seminar tomorrow still. Okay. And speaking of shows, yeah, spe <laughs> your show is? So tune in March 31st on the Discovery Channel at 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay. And uh, you're going to see a pretty epic episode of me on Naked and Afraid. Yep. And it's going to be awesome. Your episode and is? Mine is the 24th of uh, March, and the same thing, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. And uh, you'll see the savage duo, the savage couple, <laughs> take on two different challenges, but, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Savage will be calling us by the end of it. Thanks for keeping your clothes on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for sure. <laughs>